Hello and welcome to Magic AutoCAD. In this three-part video series tutorial, I will introduce you to the AutoCAD software. This tutorial is mostly for those who got no knowledge about AutoCAD or whatsoever. So, I'm going to start with the basics. And the basics here we are talking about introducing you to AutoCAD user interface understanding unit how to use your unit and then making basic drawings also we are going to also see how to use some tools like the object snaps we are also going to use uh, tools to make special drawings like layers and blocks and then work how to dimension our drawings also and finally plotting our finished drawing and as pdf form so the first point we are going to start by making basic drawings so when you open your autocad interface this is how it's going to look like for the very first time it also depends on the software you are using and its version so this one that i'm using is uh, called the autodox autocad 2020 version so to start a new drawing you will go to select start from here and automatically you will have a new tab so here we have different tabs of <coughs> the auto, of, of the tools and this one is the frequently used this one is the frequently used you drop it down and you see all these tabs they are frequently used then then we move here to this other set of toolbars that it has a series of tools that we often use in AutoCAD. And in this ribbon area, this is the ribbon area, we have tabs like the line command, the polyline, circle, axe, we have the, the square, and uh, we are going to see many more. So to activate any command, you can just click Here we have the line command This is where we start our very first drawing So here We left click and let go our cursor then we come down to our empty space we click here at a point okay we have to specify a point and click then you take it to the next point and you click take it to the next point you click take the next point then you click this is our very first drawing and then you press enter to exit so now let's talk about the navigation tool on your mouse you are supposed to use the right left and the middle wheel button on your mouse so in order to navigate this triangle in order to move this triangle around you go to your middle button uh, rolling button and you press you press and hold and when you press it will show you this hand sign and then from here you can move okay you can move your drawing you can move your drawing again just let go and when you want to zoom you can zoom your drawing by using the rolling button in the middle so when you roll it forward it opens up then when you roll it backwards on the opposite direction it zooms okay so like that and the one thing you need to know is that when you put it at a point okay when you put it on the point and you zoom the point is the one coming out okay okay let's see that and then you put it here again when you zoom this point will be the one to show up okay so let's get back then to select anything on your drawing 
what you need to do is you place your cursor and you left click and let go left click and let go and the part will be selected and to deselect you press the escape button and everything will be deselected finally to exit any command just go to the escape button and press escape and you can press escape a couple of times and it will change nothing so let's go to do our second drawing let's go to the circle tool and click here and let go because when you come you specify at the point you click left click and let go then you pull it out and point it somewhere there like I earlier said if you want to select anything in your drawing just go to it and left click and let go and you see the circle is selected and then press again escape key escape button to exit <coughs> and if you want if you have a uh, two or more objects to select you can use the window the selecting windows okay you right click and let go then you pull your cursor okay you pull your cursor then the window automatically selects and you left click and let go so it automatically selected and to exit again you escape button and like here if you go again here and right click and let go and you pull it down this way it's gonna select sorry let's click it here and we'll pull it down it's going to select these two objects you can see that all is selected then we escape so the third kind of selection that we have is called the lousy selection so when you click at this point click left click and hold then pull it pull it this way okay take it like this around so you have the last selection then you escape and the next kind of selection is the crossing window selection so we'll click at a point then let go and we'll pull it so in this selection any part of the object that this window touches is going to be selected so let's see right click and let go so you will see that the circle have been selected because only part was touched but the whole circle have been selected in this line has been selected this except for this that it didn't touch any part of it so you press escape and for that let's move to the unit and before i move to the unit i'm going to create a window to delete this string so you left click and let go another way you can delete uh, this is either from here you can press the delete button or you right click your mouse and you go to erase okay then you erase so let's move to the unit yeah so before starting any drawing the first thing you want to do is to set the unit and how do you set the unit to set the unit you need to go to the command line okay either you come to the command line you right click and you type un and you press enter you press enter to have the unit bar or or you just place your cursor where it is and then you type u n okay and then you press 
enter to have this unit bar so this unit bar we start with the length type what type of measurement we like to use you drop this down we have architectural decimal engineering fractional scientific so i would like to take this mark okay in this case i take this my and then i come down to the scaling here and then i'll take let's take centimeters okay i'll use centimeters then i come back to precision then i will select precision i would like my drawing to be rounded up to two places okay so i'll select 0, 0.00 where my drawing will be rounded up to two places so here in degrees the angles here we're talking about so we use the decimal degrees okay and the precision is exact that's zero okay yeah, so the precision here is zero then we you enter okay so let's start with the first drawing what you need to do is either you click it's either you you, you type l here to have the line command or you go to line you left click and let go you bring back and then here they say specify first point okay so here you specify your first point then you left click and let go your cursor then you move forward okay so here AutoCAD is going to show you the specific uh, dimensions okay the specific dimension but you can still enter your own dimension so in this case let's enter 25 okay 25 inches exact then we press we press yeah 25 then we press enter at that point then move it upward here we can enter 15 okay then we press enter then Then the next line, this you can take it up at an angle of 30. Okay, so you see that the angle there is 30, then you click so that is 30. Then you can still take it up, you can still take it up to, to 60 degrees. Okay, either you just like Okay, that is 60 you click and let go then escape okay and before doing this please you make sure you adjust your your angles okay you come here sorry you come here because here I was using a multiple of uh, 90 then you can put it to multiple of 30 okay multiple of 30 that you can send to any direction and then when you use angle 90 okay when you activate angle 90 here and then you go to line command you know that you can only draw vertical or horizontal lines okay you can go like this go like this okay then maybe to come down here like this no matter where you move your cursor it will either draw to horizontal or vertical because you activate it to angle 90 okay so you see that we cannot make any other angle because we activated angle 90 but in this case okay in this case here you see that here we have a multiple of 30 60 90 120 and so on so but make sure